Hello and welcome to another Grand Arena Championship. I'm Heathen13 and this is Season 19, Week 2, Round 3. We are still chugging away here in Division 3, the new Division 3, and in the finals of this week's pod, and my opponent is named Tack. So let's look at the matchup. I had a quick look at the overview of the hotbot shows I have most of the green on my side, but my opponent does have some red, so let's take a closer look. Alright, statistics wise, my opponent is a good player, over 600,000 lifetime banners, very respectable there, 1600 offensive wins, 400 defends, and 105 full clears. The only thing here that really stands out to me is that his guild GP is only 215 million, so a little bit on the low side. When we compare our rosters, however, my opponent does have some advantages. He has about 200,000 more GP than I do overall. He also has a slight advantage on top 80 and top 65. I have 13 more Zetas, but I don't think that's super significant. I do have a bit of a speed advantage, 99 to 83 on our top 80, but that's not a crazy difference where I'm gonna see that throughout our whole roster. I think it's gonna depend on character to character, how the speed shakes out. I have five more gear 13s than he does, but he's got five more gear 12s, so basically even in that respect. Looking at our mods, I have quite a bit more mods than he does, 234 to 150 in terms of six dot mods. I also have significantly more mods that are plus 20 speed compared to my opponent. In fact, I have significantly more mods with speed secondaries overall. Looking at our relics, I also hold the advantage here, 195 to 181 which is to be expected when I have more gear 13s than he does. On the meta character and key character report, I have Jedi Master Luke and my opponent has Rey. But even though he went for Rey, he still does have Jedi Knight Luke. And finally in ships, both of us have seven star negotiator and malevolence. All right, let's take a quick peek at Tax roster, see if anything jumps out. He's running his Negotiator in Fleet Arena. He's running his Ray in Squad Arena. And as you would assume, a lot of the relics he has are related to getting his Galactic Legend. But there's also a pretty good spread of relics on other teams. You can see he has a Relic 7 Jedi Knight Revan. He's got Vader and Darth Revan and Grievous all relicked up. But the vast majority of his relics are involved with either getting Rey or Jedi Knight Luke. We've got just under two hours left in the attack phase and my opponent has already gone. When I was scouting my opponent, I noticed he tended to go with kind of the Rey and Prey strategy where he sets Rey on defense with some other teams that uh, are okay. And then he just goes offense from there. And so I decided rather than to try and lean in and really try and clear that Ray, I would just kind of do the same thing. That I would try to counter him by setting my own really tough defense and accepting that I might not actually clear his Ray. So I put my Jedi Master Luke on defense down here in the bottom. You can see he's attacked and hasn't cleared a zone. So I put my Jedi Master Luke here on the bottom he didn't even attempt it. Uh, it took him two tries to get through this Newt team, and he one-shot the Hux first order. Also didn't try my shot clones, interestingly. Up top, he one-shot my Fin Fin Poe and my Bam Squad, but really struggled with Padme and Darth Revan. He really just decided he was not gonna clear my Jedi Master Luke and really wanted to clear this zone to get to ships and threw everything he had at it. And unfortunately for him, or maybe fortunately for me, he was unsuccessful. So I believe he's done and he has not cleared a single zone. So that makes my job fairly simple. It means that if I don't clear his ray, it's totally okay. So let's start down here on the bottom. Here is his ray. He put her with C-3PO and Hermit Yoda. Interesting comp there. He's got an HK with some Separatist droids. He's got a First Order squad. And then he's got a Poe Lando resistance pilot team. Now this is gonna be a theme you're gonna see up top. He basically made a bunch of teams out of 
characters that he's had to relic. So they look impressive, but they're not very good. Except for his JTR squad here. The JTR BB-8 Resistance Trooper, that's a pretty good team. But here we have Rolo, Cholo, Vet, Chewy. We do have the Social Contract team here with Fin Fin Po. But I've got my Han and Chewy to take them out. And then we've got this weird timeout team with Old Ben and Holdo and Rose Tico. So these teams up top, while they look really good with a lot of relics, um, only two of them are decent and the other two are, are kind of just garbage. All right, normally I always go through the bottom first so I can open up the back to, so I can see what's back there and plan out my teams accordingly. This battle, I am actually gonna go through the top first. I'm not sure I'm gonna clear the ray anyway. So I wanna make sure I secure the victory. So I'm gonna go through the top, do the top, do the ships, and then I'll work on the bottom and we'll see if we can get through the ray or not. I already know what I think I wanna use on all these squads. So we'll give them a go and see if it works. And I'm trying to go as cheaply as possible. I may fail on the JTR squad cause I'm gonna try and go really light. But we're going to start here, and then we'll go from there. Uh, we will start with Fin Fin Po, and we will go with, as the social contract states, I need to use my Han and Chewie, so that's what we will do. And we will take out Resistance Hero Fin first. And then see if we can get a stun on Po. Nope. Now we are stuck behind OG Finn for a sec. And stuck no more. And there we go. All right. Then we are going to go after this old Ben squad. And we're going to go with some bounty hunters. So we will go Aura, Bosk, and Mando. There's really not any um, big damage here between Old Ben and Holdo. And so we just need to attack whoever it is we're going to attack. And I'm not even sure. See, this way with the Aura lead, we don't need to be going after the weakest. We need to go after whomever, as long as we are buffed. So we will get our contract off here in a moment. And then we will just use the Mandalorian to um, disintegrate them one by one. So there goes old Ben. And in the meantime, we'll just work on keeping ourselves topped off. until we can get another disintegrate from Mando. It'd be nice if I can get a couple stuns here. Of course, they got their stun. There we go, from Aura. They want to try and get the, my protection back if possible, but it's not looking good. So there it goes, Holdo. And then Rose. I was really tempted to try and do this as a solo with Nihilus. Um, but my Nihilus is only gear 12 and I was worried that Holdo's big AoE would be just enough to, um, to kill, him, kill her off. So I decided to play it safe and go with Bounty Hunters. All right. Now, in terms of playing it safe, this is not going to be it. We're going to go after this Rolo Cholo Vet Chewy, and I'm going to see if my Relic 5 Ness can just solo them. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. But we'll give it a shot. And uh, I've seen something similar being done before, so I will give it a try. I'm just throw it on auto, and we shall see.
Ooh. All right, so that worked, but it was far scarier than I thought it would be. And uh, got down there in the yellow quite a few times. But 54, that's great. Uh, you know, one character to take out a whole squad. All right, this is probably not going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. And that is Night Sisters versus this JTR team. I'm not sure that my relic levels on Daka are enough. And I have a feeling they're just going to kind of wreck me. But we're going to give it a shot. Um, you know, I don't have zombie either. So it's just these three. And, and we'll hope. I feel like it's kind of probably a bad play. But uh, we'll give it a shot. The, the scary part is the um, healing immunity right there. That's the scary part. So I need to try and get a res, but it doesn't even matter. So this is gonna fail. Uh, doesn't matter at all because I've got healing immunity. So there goes Daka. All right, well that was a fail and interesting experiment, I guess, but we will have to try something different. All right, well, let's continue to try to get through this cheaply. Again, I'd like to keep as much as possible to one, try and get through Ray, and two, if I get through Ray, get through the stuff in the back. So we'll go with this, see if we can't um, take them down this way. This might fail as well. Again, it's got Relic 7 on Ray and BB 8. I may have to just take something really good here, which would be unfortunate, but it is what it is. If I can manage to get through these with this Treya, then uh, I'd be very happy. Let's take out Trooper, because they are the weakest, and just added, you know, he was just bonus damage for them, so get rid of them. That would be nice. Uh, get rid of the Foresight there. BB-8's actually close, but there we go. Jedi training Raygon and BB-8 about to be gone there we go all right i should have done that from the get-go and on to ships what do we got for ships the radis again radis my friend all right this time we're gonna go with my malevolence against the empire and then we'll take negotiator against radis And we will go in with just them. And interesting, he's got kind of a weird, like a first order empire combo here. And I don't really understand, but that's fine because there's no tank. And that means that we just get to kill uh, the silencer right from the get-go let's go ahead and pull out the spy to take out OG Kylo and this should do it there we go very nice and then we get negotiator against the Radis. and I think I can go light on this as well how light do I want to go? I think that's it. I think that's as much as I need to take. Besides, I kind of like keeping fives for the Empire squad if he needs it. Uh, although I put my Empire on defense. I know what I'm talking about. So we got Ray's Millennium Falcon and Han's Millennium Falcon, which is kind of interesting, I guess but uh, ultimately not gonna make a difference. We were just gonna shred these guys, I think. Famous last words. Let's get rid of this even hawk. Do I need to heal or anything? No. So let's do that. Let's bring in that. And they're gonna bring something in too. What we got? 
So they've got their resistance. Oh no, that's not even resistance. That's bigs. Right? That's weird. Why not resistance pilot and Poe? He obviously had those guys um, relicked up because he's got Ray. I feel like he's not utilizing his fleet very well. Let's see if we can get a quick heal before we win this battle. Try and maximize banners. Of course, they're going to AOE right before I win, but that's okay. No, 47 works. All right, let us jump to the bottom. So you can see we already have the victory secured. So the teams I'm gonna use on these other three squads are not gonna affect my Ray pursuit at all. So we'll just go with them. I'm gonna take Mon Mothma here. I don't know, this one actually might not work. Um, his Magna and B2 are both Relic. But I think it should. Let's get rid of this. Wish there was a way to uh, pause guild notifications for a certain amount of time. That would be nice. So again, one thing I really love about Mon Mothma's, Mon Mothma's squad is the fact that the summon unit clears uh, and dispels on basic. So then it you know, clears the taunt. If there is a taunt up, like Magma, Magna. Let's get rid of HK, he's only gear 12. He's gonna go down faster. That was a misclick. I meant to do my, uh, my secondary, my special there. All right, come on, man. HK, let's die. Let's die. Well, this is going to take a bit because, you know, it's Mon Mothma and they don't hit excruciatingly hard. It looks like I'm just going to stay here on Magna Guard and kill him. And that's fine. We'll take him one by one. And then we don't have to mess with the annoyingness of the uh, constant taunts. So it looks like we are going to just leave HK for last and deal with the fact that he's going to throw grenades at some point, steal more banners, but that is okay. Get rid of his turn meter and see how much we can heal up. Ooh, we actually upgraded our unit. I don't think I've... Have I ever done that? I don't know. Possibly? Oh, I could have done my sec my special there. I don't think I've ever done that special. Let's, I want to read what it says. Uh, I think I'm going to kill him. Missed opportunity. But a 53. All right, next we will go after crew. And we will take Geo's. My geos aren't high enough to, or geared enough to help on Ray anyway, I don't think. So we will simply go after these guys with it. That uh, Kylo there that I one shot with my spy was only gear nine. So while it felt good to do that with spy, not actually very impressive. Again, this what you get when you do the Ray and Prey is you know, it works great if they can't get through Ray and you can clear their board, but. When you go Ray and Prey and then don't clear his own, it doesn't work out very well. All right, here is another one of those ones where I'm gonna take a risk and I'm gonna try and just Wampa this thing, I think. Part of me thinks I should put in a Hoda but um, I'm just gonna go for it, right? Why not? What's there to lose? Nothing. I mean, 20 banners, but... They certainly can put out enough um, damage, I think, to kill Wampa, potentially, but I'm hoping that I can kill them first. 
obviously that's like the whole name of the game, right? Kill them first. But yeah, why not? Let's do this even, sure. And that, there we go. Nice job, Wampa. All right, so that brings us to Ray. So I'm going to press pause here on the recording and throw in a bunch of burners to get her down into the yellow so that I can attempt to take her down. So I'll be right back with her in the yellow. All right, well, I'm back and she's in the yellow, but she's not where I want her to be. And I think I kind of have to just go with it anyway. The problem that, that I'm seeing is she does her lifeblood and that takes her health down. And normally she would then do basics and whatnot and get some health back. The problem is Hermit Yoda keeps healing her to full. So I'm going through this cycle of she lifebloods back into yellow. Hermit Yoda just brings her back to full. And so I'm never going to get her down all the way into the yellow where I want her to be. So I'm going to have to kind of just go after the way it is. And if I take multiple shots here to try and kill her, uh, at least if I can get Hermit Yoda out of there, then that will make the possibility of being able to um, do the whole throw in burner teams to get her to lifeblood down low enough so that she's not going to have damage immunity. So we're going to give this a shot. I'm going to take in my Vader comp and uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, but hopefully if nothing else, I can get out Hermit Yoda so that I can try it with a Jedi Knight Revan gas comp instead. So we will weapons tech there. See there was Hermit Yoda immediately brought her back into or out of um, what it was so get some on there and i'm actually gonna culling blade on yoda right now and see if i can get rid of him not quite and i put him into damage immunity too so we will just go through we're gonna actually tank tech on thrawn and then i'm going to fracture her uh, we need to try and, again, kill off Yoda. We've got seven dots on Ray at the moment. Get rid of that confuse. I'm gonna save my culling blade for Ray, but I really, I need to get more dots on her than I have. And already she's going into ultimate. Hopefully, we can have Vader survive the ultimate, and then I can go directly into Merciless. Ooh, barely. All right. No, I had enough dots to do it too, but at least Yoda's gone. All right, now we will throw some more burner squads at her and then go after her with another team. All right, we are back in the yellow again but I'm not finding success in getting her less than half, and she's just gonna go right back into um, damage immunity again, which is frustrating. So I'm gonna give it another attempt here. Um, this is probably my last good shot at it, and I'm not sure who I want to take as my fifth. I, I think I'm gonna go Old Ben for the ability block, but Part of me thinks I should just go all in and just go Jedi Knight Luke. Because if this doesn't work, it's nothing's probably going to work. Let's just go Jedi Knight Luke. That's probably a bad idea, but we're just going to blow my whole, all my options here. I'm basically taking three teams right now to try and go, go after one. And uh, you can see here, she's already back in the, over the threshold. get this done there I guess but is she in damage immunity there well if she was she's not anymore so let's just keep attacking keep attacking and keep attacking and ouch no not gas no gas no let's hand it back over to Luke oh no Come on. All right, we're going to try and build back some protection 
Let's see if we can survive. Barely. Come on, Luke. Come on, Luke. No, Luke. That was it. That was my best shot. Close, but no cigar. I'm going to throw a couple more teams here at her, but I think that was it. All right. Well, I am done. As you can see, I gave it 12 tries total, although more than half of those were burner squads. Um, but I am not going to get through the ray. So his ray and prey worked, other than the fact that he couldn't clear any of my zones. In retrospect, I wish I would have just put a really tough defense like I was going to and kept my Jedi Master Luke to give me a better shot at this. Um, but there's no guarantee that I would have got through with him either. So that is it. I'm disappointing not to get the full clear, but happy for the win. 21.65 to 14.48. I want to thank Tack for the battle. Um, always humbling to not get a full clear. So good job on that. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you again in next round.